40% of the world's amphibian population faces extinction. It's a trend scientists say is largely driven by climate change and is as a result of findings from data collected over two decades. The study was authored by more than a hundred experts and was published in the scientific journal Nature this week. ENCA reporter Kevin Brunt has the story. Climate change has been identified as one of the biggest drivers in the decline of frog, salamander and Sicilian populations across the globe. More than a thousand amphibian experts worldwide have contributed their research to the study. My role in this study was that I was the chair of the Southern African region and so we gathered about 20 individuals from across the region including Angola, Namibia, Zimbabwe, Mozambique and South Africa and we, we held a, a workshop where we each we went through each of the species and we described what the threats are to those species and we uh, inferred the IUCN red list status. The conservation status of more than 4,000 amphibian species was considered and found that three out of every five salamander species are threatened with extinction. Researchers say climate change and habitat destruction are the main drivers here. So in the previous global assessment, we found that there were a large number of species that were threatened with extinction and that this was larger than any other vertebrate group. Unfortunately, what we found with this global assessment is that there are now more species threatened than there were 10 years ago. But experts say there is hope. It just takes the will to want to do it. So there's a lot of things that um, government, obviously the most important levels are the, the policy levels and government levels in South Africa. We are signatories to uh, biodiversity agreement, global biodiversity agreement. And so these things will um, inevitably help um, the diversity of amphibians here. Scientists say at a more individual level, residents can also create a habitat for frogs in their gardens. The information obtained through this study will help experts map out a plan for better global conservation. This will entail additional resources being deployed, coupled with efforts to influence policy in order to reverse this negative trend for amphibians. Kevin Brunt, Cape Town.